Hello children. Today we will be doing an English poem called Friends Forever. 2.6 One day some children had gone to the park to play. They were all friends. The boy was on the slide. These two children were playing catching cook. This little girl was running here and there. This little boy was playing with his ball. And this little girl was trying to hop across the pond. Suddenly, the boy sitting on the swing fell down. All his friends looked at him and were worried. They ran towards him immediately. They helped him get to the doctor. The boy who had fallen down was badly wounded. He had hurt his head and fractured his leg. His friends were very worried about him. But being good friends, some of them came with tips for him to cheer him up. Some friends stayed by his bedside and just spoke to him. Some of his friends even read him some stories. And his best friend would bring him hot food every day. So you see children, this is what a good friend is. When you help someone, you help your friends out. You be by their side. Especially when they are not well or they have hurt themselves. If they don't know something, you can help them. That's what good friends are for. So today children, we will learn the poem Friends Forever. Children, I will read the poem first and then I will explain it to you. Listen carefully. 2.6 Friends Forever Make new friends, but keep the old. One is silver and the other gold. A circle is round. It has no end. That's how long I will be your friend. Across the land, across the sea, friends forever we'll always be. Children, I will now explain the poem to you. In this first verse, it is make new friends but keep the old. One is silver and the other gold. You know, children, that silver and gold, we always treasure. So also, we should treasure our friends. You could have a best friend or just a friend in school, but you should always treasure friendship. Because like we treasure silver and gold, we should also treasure our friendship. The second verse, a circle is round, it has no end. That's how long I will be your friend. If you look at a circle, children, it has no end. Like a square has four corners, a circle does not have that. It is never ending. So that's how you should keep your friends. Your friendship should go on forever. Just never forget your old friends if you make new friends. Your old and new friends should be same. You should treasure that. Across the land, across the sea, friends forever will always be. Whether your friend is close by, that is on land, or your friend is across the sea, that is far away, like they have shown in this picture, the plane is moving to another country or another place. So if your friend is close by or far away, you should be friends forever. Never forget that. You can have best friends forever if you keep your friendship good. Now let me explain to you another thing about rhyming words. If you look at a poem, the last words in the verse, you will get rhyming words like old and gold. See they sound the same, so they are called rhyming words, old, gold. In the second verse, the rhyming words are end 
and friend in the third verse c and b these are the rhyming words in the poem i want to tell you another thing when i was reading i read the word the as the you know why children because the alphabet after the word the is an o which is a vowel so every time you get a the before a vowel you have to pronounce it as the not the we say the old another word is here the other we don't say the other but the other because o is a vowel here so if a word the comes before a vowel you have to pronounce it as the let us read the poem one more time friends forever make new friends but keep the old one is silver and the other gold a circle is round it has no end that's how long i will be your friend across the land across the sea friends forever we'll always be thank you children i hope you have understood the poem learn the poem carefully and you will enjoy reciting this poem thank you